Welcome to the uh, Sunday morning edition of the Goli Lama's informational channel. Uh, this one is about the Pecron Aurora 200 watt solar panels. If you recall in one of my previous videos, I felt like there could be an issue with one of the panels. So I uh, bought this multimeter to uh, test them with and I'm gonna do that. Uh, what I'm testing will be the open circuit voltage, which should be 43.2 volts, and the short circuit current, which should be 5.8 amps. These numbers are obtained on optimum conditions and right now um, this being Florida it's quite warm already around 9 a.m. Eastern Standard Time here on the Space Coast um, and so the conditions aren't premium but there's a lot of Sun and there's a lot of good opportunity for me to to check this out um, as you can see, there's other specifications here, and if you go on to the Pecron website, uh, you can see how to hook these up to the E2000 LFP, which is my setup, or separately to the EB3000 expansion battery, uh, of which I have one. So, I'm going to cut this short, go set up the panels, and I'll see you in a few minutes. All right, I'm back. So I've got this multimeter from Astro AI hooked up. There'll be a link to it in the uh, description of this video. I have one. We're going to test the open volt uh, capacity and the short circuit amperage on both of these port panels. Um, the white labeled one is the one that I thought had an issue. So we'll start off with the, the, um, the short circuit measurement. So I'll place the black lead into the black. I'll place the red lead into the red. We're expecting somewhere around 5.83. And right now, early in the day, not peak sun, we're getting 3.8. And this is on the bad one. So I don't think that's too bad. I actually think it's pretty good. Now we got a cloud moving in, so I gotta hurry up. Now we'll check this, test this same on the, the one that I thought performed better. And, and it does perform better. I get a 4.2 plus on the short circuit amperage. So it is performing a little bit better. They're both basically in the same angle to the sun. And this is what the result of that is. Now we're going to check the, uh, the VOC, so I take this out and I put it over here to check that and I change this to the volts. Once again, black into black, don't mind the shaking hereditary and probably too many pucks in the head but it's expecting 43 volts and as you can see it's really close to that so we get great voltage out of that panel that I thought was good now to check the other one black into black 
Red into red on the MC4 connectors. And I get virtually the same, around 42. And so the numbers that they write on the face of that panel are under optimum circumstances. And seeing how it's a little early in the day, we're probably not at optimal. But the voltage is really good, and the amperage is pretty good. So I think both of these panels are probably good. So I won't bother um, submitting a, some kind of support issue with uh, Pecron. Let me give that another shot here. Yeah, it's coming up a little bit the higher the sun gets in the sky. Yeah, that's pretty damn good, really, for this time of day. This is the panel that I figure is bad. And this is the panel that I figure is good. And that's already up to 4.7, so you can see as the sun reaches peak, it's probably going to hit both numbers. So Pecron gets a pass on both of these panels. And I can relax and enjoy the rest of my Sunday here in Melbourne, Florida in my newly purchased Toyota Sienna 2016 Loser Cruiser which will soon be converted into a nomadic camping van. So we will see you soon and look for the videos about the camper van coming up in a week or two. Peace.